everyone, Savvy Coupon Shopper here with my two week grocery store haul um, for my family of four. Just scanning through everything that I got today, give you guys an idea. And this week we were a little pressed with time, we had a couple things happening, so this is going to be a really quick video. I didn't even have time to do meal planning. And that happens a lot in our lives. So when that happens, you just do the best that you can with your budget and try and stay in budget and get great things. And the good thing is with the Easter holiday coming up, there are awesome sales on turkeys and hams. So if you're not having that for your Easter dinner, it's a good thing to go ahead and buy those and have those for your regular meals because not only are they cheaply priced now on sale, but they're going to give you meals for a couple of days, so they're going to stretch that money a little bit in the budget. And when you don't have like recipes planned and stuff, they're really good things to, um, to purchase and help with the budget. So we're just going to go ahead and start with the meats and stuff that I got. The stores that I went to were Jewel, Aldi, Tony's, and then a couple of things from Target. Not much. Um, so I did a really quick grocery shopping trips, trips today. But um, these are some things. These Lloyd's a Barbecue um, kits are $3.99 a jewel, but they had dollar coupons on them, making them $2.99. And when you bought the meat, you got a free package of buns. So this and the buns was only $2.99. So that's a perfect meal for us or lunch. And then I got the um, two and a quarter pound tub of Papa Charlie's Italian beef. We had Italian beef sandwiches um, maybe like two weeks ago. So we have leftover Jardinera mix and they were awesome. So I just bought another container and um, some Italian French loaves there, mini loaves with them. So um, this will be great for lunch as well. And we even make like gravy breads with the leftover gravy. So we're not really picky with what we eat on that. I picked up two packages of chicken breasts. Now we still have um, a package of chicken left over from my last grocery haul along with a package of pork chops. So um, plenty of chicken and chicken was $3.99 a pound, which isn't really a great stock up price so I wasn't going to get too much chicken this week so I kind of looked at the other meats to see what would be on sale and we have two pork tenderloins here for nine dollars and two cents which is a pretty good deal um, so we can I'll actually break these up and use them for a dinner but we will have plenty of leftovers because those are lots of meat there and then I got about a two and a half pound pack of ground beef and again, ground beef was not really on sale, but we, we really didn't eat much ground beef last the last two weeks. We were kind of like on a chicken kick and turkey kick, so um, I picked up that. And with those, we'll probably make tacos or meatloaf, basic stuff, hamburger help or whatever comes up. Uh, a package of chicken nuggets. Jewel had a great promotion on Palermo's pizzas, buy one, get one free. And then you also got a free bag of Doritos, so it was a really cool thing. And today is Friday, so we kind of do it like a Friday movie game night. So we'll have these, and um, we got some chicken wings there as well. Um, some pot pies, and like I said, awesome sales on turkeys and hams. So if that's the one thing that I could tell you guys is to really look at your stores and pick up um, your turkeys. Now these were 99 cents a pound, and the spiral ham was $1.99 a pound, which is really good for a spiral ham. So the ham was roughly like $13 as well as with the turkey. So that was a really good deal and we'll have plenty of meals out of these two. Two dozen eggs, strawberries were 99 cents, great deal. Pineapple was $1.19. Halos are on sale everywhere and we do have a manufacturer coupon. So I'll post that below in case you guys want to pick them up. And um, I think there's a couple rebate deals as well with those. So check out those, but they were only $1.99. Romaine heart salad as usual, cherry tomatoes, 99 cents, great deal, some lemons, tomatoes, French toast sticks and yogurts for the kids. Now, if you've been watching my videos, I stocked up on wheat bread a while ago from Aldi for 25 cents a loaf. So we still have about four loaves left, but my son likes white bread, so we picked that up. We are straight out of olive oil, so I picked up some olive oil. 
and chocolate milk, half gallon there, and a gallon of regular milk. And then we got some more pico de gallo that was really good last week, and that is a pound of grandma's potato salad at Jewel. It's really good. We got some lunch meat, so we'll have that. Cookies, yogurts, string cheese for the kids. We like these Fiber Now bars. Um, they're like the generic version of the Fiber Bar, and they're much cheaper at Aldi's. Some granola bars, fruit bars. There's that free bag of Doritos from those two pizzas that we were buy one, get one free. A little bit of ice cream, cheese. Going to go ahead and make a um, pudding pie. And basically, all I do is get a graham cracker crust. Super easy. These are 85 cents at all these. Um, put the pudding mix in, and then on top, just top it with some Cool Whip, and it's kind of like a, a generic homemade French silk pie for like under $3. Um, Sara Lee treats were $1.99. We had some dollar manufacturer coupons, so it made those 99 cents. Case of water. And then Target has Capri Suns on sale, buy three, get one free. And then we have a 75 cent off three manufacturer coupon in the paper. So I will post that below with what paper it's in for you guys. Awesome printable coupons on 7-Up and um, Canada Dry products. At Jewel, they're 79 cents. We have 55 cent off one and $50 uh, off twos. So it makes them like not even 30 cents a piece. So you have to buy those in multiples of four. Some apple juice, just a couple little other things there, snacks for the kids. And um, we got some American cheese, we got some turkey, and then below that is some ham as well. And then these butterball um, turkey, I'll make a wrap with that, which I have the wraps there. So um, a lot of stuff. This week and last week we spent like $199. We strictly stayed in that budget. So that was really awesome. We had some overage from that. Um, so this week we're going to need to pick up a couple things throughout the week um, for the kids and stuff, but not too much. Um, so let me go ahead and show you the receipts with the total so you guys can see everything. Now this is the Aldi receipt. So you'll see the whole turkey, the whole ham, all those big ticket items there. And Aldi was $93.91. And then we had Jewel, which I got like some of the meat and the pizzas and stuff from. Is this Jewel? This is Tony's. I'm sorry, Tony's, where I got some meat. So you can see everything on there. And that total was $50.49. It's ridiculous how much meat and stuff is and how much it takes out of your budget, guys. Um, oh, and I'm missing a receipt here, but, um, I have the total. It was $233. So my target total was $28.29 and then my jewel total was $60. So if you add those together, I don't have, oh, the receipt fell. Let me get the receipt for you guys. I like to show you guys everything so you can see. And of course the receipt is super, super light. But you'll see the total there, $61.07. So it was like $233, but we are going to have overage on our meat for sure because we are not going to, between the turkey and the ham, we've got some huge meals coming up. So my tips for this grocery haul trip are number one, look at your sale items.